Uh, getting away out of the city, men being men, mountain men in the wild. Patrick loves car racing. He truly loves car racing. He's always driving something new. He is, yeah. He's always trying something out, and I think it's part of, the, part of his love for racing. And he's just like a little kid. When you bring him anywhere near a sports car or anything like that, Patrick's racing is his passion. He lights up like you never see him when he's racing or talking about it. It's nice that he has a real passion for something else. I also feel like he really makes our parking lot a much more attractive place to be. Yes, he does. Because nine times out of 10, there's something relatively awesome parked outside. And the girls love it. Yeah, he's always encouraging me to get more cars. <laughs>
The Black Forest team is uh, something that we're sort of chasing the championship with, and they're great competitors and, and fun to be around as well. Today was an incredible day for many reasons, but uh, what's your name? My name is Valerie Dimash. And what do you do? I'm a race car driver. And what did you do today that was outstanding? I did a pole in Grand Am uh, Coney Challenge. That's right, there were 48 drivers in the field. She beat all the boys, which is a great thing, I think, for women in general now, and they're getting in the sport more and more. This series is basically to create an atmosphere where we're professional, but at the same time being competitive without being obnoxious. There needs to be a sportsmanship there. Good times out there, Jeff. Good job. Great, that's good. We're hooked. My first meeting with Patrick was a little unusual. Um, we were at Barber Motorsports last year. Just started at, at, um, at Barber in Atlanta in the opening lap. And we went into the first turn, and everybody was breaking. And I ended up getting into the rear end of him and punting him off. I went through six cars like a bowling ball. Creating a, a little bit of a mayhem at the start of the race, and he got blamed for it. And um, the next day, I, Monday or Tuesday, I called him up and apologized. So we talked for about a half hour, and uh, I can tell his intentions are, are very real. And I think that's what you have to do. You know, you have to own up to your mistakes, and, and hopefully you, you treat people with respect, they treat you with respect. Patrick has always wanted to be considered a driver. And, and, and be respected by people within the sport that he respects. And so we try to keep him as, as one of us in this world, too. He's an equal with us. He gets teased and harassed in the trailer like anybody else. Oh my God. Oh, Lay down, okay. clear, clear, clear. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> is there a doctor? Is there a doctor? <laughs> I think probably the greatest pain in Patrick's life is that his character never gets to drive yeah. a car. I would like Derek Shepard to like racing. It's a question, does Shonda Rhimes like racing? <laughs> I keep asking her to write a, a racing thing where he comes to one of the races. Patrick, Derek Shepard likes being a neurosurgeon, and neurosurgery is just as exciting as car racing, probably more so. So he doesn't need the car racing. He's, he's good without it. Plus, he has the fishing, and the camping, and the trailer. <laughs> Things that don't go fast or injure my actors. Oh, this is good. I like watching him drive in and out a lot. I do, too. Race day, here we go. I just need to be smart and click off some laps, uh, really save the car, and uh, hand it over to Charles, and hopefully we'll have a good finish. A lot of people sort of know me from the show, so you know people come out to watch you and they expect you to be fast. So you you have to kind of block all that out and just run your race and run what your goals are. You know, you're shaving seconds and tenths off, and that that makes a big difference between first and you know tenth position. Once you're out there, you're physically in the car, uh, it, it takes your mind off of everything. It just really clears your mind and you're completely in the moment. It's, it's kind of a zen feeling, I think. Patrick, as well, don't forget to breathe on the straightaways. Exhale, just stay relaxed in the car. Drink some water when you got a minute. Pretty good qualifying for me, you know, breaking in, you know, dropping the car inside the top 10 and, and just being consistent and trying not to be too abusive on the brakes or anything else in the car and hand it over to Charles, who is a very experienced, really quality driver. Well, uh, the race is over. Uh, we had a uh, very good result for the team. Patrick had his first top 10 finish today, which is fantastic. Congratulations, good job. Thank you. It was good. It was, uh, you know, the best finish I had. I think we ultimately came in fifth, which was great. Patrick wants a very smooth, clean progression up the ranks, such that he can have an involvement in the sport that lasts a long time, and he's respected in it for a long time. It'd be fun to be a full-time driver. But right now, I think because of the success of the Grey's Anatomy, I need to stay with that and focus on that. It will hopefully get me to a position where I can afford to take the time off and my career can, you know, support that. Step up, see the name, and that's it. 